To solve this differential equation, you need to figure out which functions are their own first derivatives with respect to time. That's certainly true of this function, but I didn't ask for one solution. I asked for the entire family of solutions. And the correct answer there is this one. And you can check that by plugging in. The derivative of k1 e to the t is k1 e to the t. This one here is not quite right. If you take its first derivative with respect to time, you get k1 e to the t, which is not the same as k1 e to the t plus k2. The number e actually has a special name because of exactly the property we were playing with in this quiz problem. I said e to the t is a function that is its own derivative with respect to time. That's why e has that special name. That is, the slope of the function e to the t is equal to the height of the function e to the t at all points. So its derivative is equal to the function itself. The solution to the second problem involves going back to the drawing that we did in the unit. We have a mass on a spring, and the force balance looks like this. And if those two forces are out of balance, then the mass will accelerate, F equals ma. Now the only thing that's hard to get right here is really the minus sign. And if you look at the drawing, you see that x is measured pointing down, and mg is pointing down. So mg will make x bigger, whereas kx, the force pointing up, will make x smaller. And that's how I remember how to get that sign right. And then the last piece is that a is x double prime. And if you put all that together, you can see that this one is the right answer here.